Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video guys. In this video, I'll be talking about the basic shell commands of Apache HBase. We all know that Apache HBase is a NoSQL database. Uh, it's a columnar oriented database which has been built on a top of Apache Hadoop, right? So it's an important uh, component or part of Apache Hadoop ecosystem. So today we're gonna just uh, learn how we can work in the HBase on command line, right? So we're gonna discuss some basic commands that we use in HBase. The very first thing we are having is status. So guys, I've already have opened up my HBase shell, you can see. So if I'm gonna write status, it will give me the information about my, uh, about my server, right? How many servers I'm having in my cluster, active server count, average load value. All right, so as we are working in a standalone environment, it's not my cluster uh, configuration. So that's why it's shown one active master, zero backup master, one server, one dead, and I got five average load. All right, so this is the simple basic status command, which uh, with the help of which I get to know some stats about my system configuration. All right, especially HBase. So if I want to uh, know a little bit more, I can also go with status then simple. It'll give you some more uh, detailed information than the previous one. You can see I got some difference now. So it, I got some more information with this. It's called simple. And I'm also having the uh, detailed view with the keyword detailed. All right, so with the help of which I get the maximum information that I can retrieve from status command. All right, so we have a three parameters available. Summary, which is the default one, simple and detailed. All right, moving further guys. Next little thing we are having is version. If you want to know like what kind of version you're using of HBase, you can simply write a command version. So it will give you the information that it's 1.7.1, .1, it's a version, all right? The third one is guys, uh, it, like we all are relatively new to this, let's suppose. And uh, I want to know how to create a table in HBase. We all know that everything is revolving around HBase tables, right? So if I want to know uh, how we can create a table, so I, I'm having one command available, which is called table help. So it will give you all the information, whatever you require for table creation, all right? So it will give you the syntax, how to create a table, how to fetch a data, how to add a column family, how to read a data. So everything related to a tables, you can see, you can get the information from here, all right? So this is the table help command. Next we are having, uh, it's who am I? It will return the current HBase user, right? So I'm a current HBase user, Amrit. So I got information from who am I, like command, all right? Next is guys, uh, after discussing these basic little commands, we also have a, a set of management of table commands. So we have some commands, which is related to the table management. So we start with create. So create command, as the name suggests, it will create a table for you, okay? So the syntax is quite simple. It's create space table name, okay? Then we have a column family. We have column family, so I'm writing, uh, writing it as call fan, okay? That's it. So it says my table already exists, no issues. I can go with my table one. All right, so guys, we got this my table one created, okay? So create space in a single quotes, we have given the table name, comma. In a single quotes, we have given the column family. We can have any number of column families but here we are just specifying a single column family, okay? Next, if you want to see uh, whether your table is available or not, you can go with list command. Simply write list, it will give you the all the tables that you're having. You can see my table was already existing, that's why it was giving me error in last, in the previous command. But my table one also got added here, so I got four tables available, all right? So G, M, my table, my table one. It's uh, possible because of this uh, list command. Moving further guys, then we have a describe command available. Describe command guys, it's very common uh, between uh, uh, SQL and this HBase. Uh, describe command is used to know the information about your table, okay? Uh, we also have this command in basic SQL. We use describe space table name. In the same way, if you want to know about your table, then you can go with describe command okay which will give you the structure information about you of your table so i want to know uh, the information about my recently created table which is my table one you can see my table is enabled 
and it has given me the information about my column family as I'm already having only having a single column family. So it has given the uh, information about my column family as well. Okay, this is called describe command. Next guys we are having, uh, it's called disable. So what is disable command? Guys, in case if you want to uh, drop your table, it can't be dropped in the case of HBase straight away or directly. We have to make it disable first, okay? So that, that's where the disable come into play. Let's suppose I want to uh, disable my table one. So I can simply write disable space in a single quotes my table one. I press enter. So I got my prompt back. Now I'm allowed to go with the dropping of the table, okay? So in the same way, we have one command available called enable, which is the opposite of disable, right? If you want to make your table again that disable, let me first go with describe again. You can see guys earlier it was showing it is enabled, now it is showing it is disabled. So I want to make it enable again. For this we have a little command available called my table one. Okay, so it will uh, convert your table back into enable mode. And if you go with describe again, you can see it is now enabled. All right. So this is a simple little command available, enabled. Now I cannot go with the dropping of the table. Let's see if we try my table one. I want to get rid of this table. I want to drop it. You can, you can see I got an error that my table is enabled. So we have to disable it first, okay? So what we have to do again, we have to just rewrite the command. This uh, disable my table one. Now it is got disabled. Now I'm allowed to drop a table. You can see, now you can check it out with list also. My table one is no longer existing, all right? So guys, this marks the end of this video. This was the first part of my HBase shell commands video. I'll be coming with the second part in which I'll be discussing some more set of commands. I hope you uh, found it uh, interesting. Uh, if you, in case uh, you find something which is not clear, please let me know guys. I'll be happy to address all the points. All right. Thank you guys. See you in second part.